Uh, the next speaker will be Odin Holmes, and he will be talking about the Metamonads, a very fast template metaprogramming. Okay, um, Metamonads is a pattern that I found when uh, trying to make my compile time algorithms uh, faster. Um, for uh, those of you who are not super into this, which is probably everybody except for one guy in the audience. Um, this is like a naive implementation of, you know, indexing in a compile time algorithm. The problem here is uh, as we go through this list of types, throwing away one and decrementing how many we have to throw away, we're creating a lot of intermediate types. You see we're deriving from at impl with one type less, right? And that's, 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 a, that's a type. Uh, we have to remember its point of instantiation. We have to allocate memory for it in the compiler because it will live forever. Um, that's not efficient because we don't care about all these intermediate types. Um, the other thing is if we call this algorithm with a different index or with different data, that's going to create more intermediate types. Uh, so essentially, it would be nice if we could separate the data from the algorithm itself, because then if we called the same algorithm with different data, then the compiler would know um, what algorithm we're looking for. It would already have it memoized, means it remembers what type that is. And if you, you know, think about, I mean, take this with a big grain of salt. This depends on a lot of stuff, but it's essentially how fast things are from fast to slow, right? So right now, we're uh, instantiating types, calling a meta function. Um, we want to get up towards the top. We want to be using aliases. We want to, you know, be wrapping types in a simple small wrapper rather than uh, creating these huge types. It also scales somewhat linearly how many types are in my type list that I'm creating, right? So one thing we can do, um, which is already used in practice, is what's called fast track. We can take lots of types off at the same time. You know, if we, if we, uh, um, know that we're uh, still, you know, many, many uh, um, recursions out, we still have a lot of types, we can throw away a bigger number every time and thus create less uh, intermediate types. We can also use another pattern, right? The problem with uh, computing with aliases is I can't make decisions in an alias because there is no specialization of aliases, right? I use specialization to make decisions and I can't specialize, I can't make decisions. But the thing I can do is I can put that alias in a template structure, use specialization to decide essentially which alias I'm using, and the alias actually does the work on the data. So I have the algorithm in templatized structs with nested aliases, and the al nested aliases work on the data. So the data isn't memoized, it doesn't need to be remembered, right? I mean, essentially, how many types am I creating here? Well, I'm creating uh, the um, at generator specialization zero, one, maybe eight. It's on the next slide, it didn't fit. But uh, you know, depending on how many I'm throwing away, I'm selecting a different alias. Um, this uh, pattern can be used for many other algorithms besides uh, um, at. I mean, there's probably tricks to do a faster at, but if we're thinking about take or drop or whatever, um, sort, find if, count if, blah, blah, blah. Um, we notice that we, for, for essentially every algorithm, we want to implement uh, a generator with, you know, powers of two up to very large number, right? I mean, I could be working on 256 types at a time. Um, this doesn't cost us very much with aliases, again, because though that big block of types is not taking part in specialization. The specialization is uh, only for the at generator, or the generator, um, in the next slide. Uh, and the big list of types is in the alias, where it is clear which alias we're resolving to, right? So this goes uh, much faster. But it's very verbose, because we need fast tracks for you know, a whole lot of stuff. But we can actually reuse fast tracks if we add another layer of indirection. If I can write a control structure, pass the control structure into this metamonad, and the control structure decides what's done, and the outer shell just rips off types and gives them to me, right? Then I can essentially, with one, uh, um, with, uh, with one set, with one generator, I can, I can solve many different functions, 
And all I have to write is the control structure, like take control, a very short control structure, right? So, you know, what is this, what is this bias? Well, I'm not sure we've made all the algorithms as efficient as they can be, and I haven't actually even tried every algorithm, but essentially, um, you know, take on my machine is 30x faster than uh, metal, which was the fastest at the time that I uh, tested against it. Now, uh, Ronoco has actually been using some of this stuff to make metal faster, but um, other algorithms like, like uh, uh, find if is only like five, six x, but I'm not sure if I made the best find if. I think like on balance, we can probably get another order of magnitude out of uh, these patterns so we can make absolutely massive metaprograms that compile in lightning speed. Um, no time for questions, so there's my contact info if you wanna talk about this more or just yell at me, I'm very approachable.